Tonight, the Larimer County District Attorney is calling out a Fort Collins police officer who has arrested nine people for DUIs in the past year and a half. In each of those cases, tests show the suspects had neither drugs nor alcohol in their systems. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss broke this story earlier this week. He now reports the DA is calling some of those arrests unwarranted and is questioning the officer's judgment and decision making. You know why I'm contacting you? Not a single clue. Not a clue? It's a Friday night in December, and Fort Collins resident Harris Elias was heading home from a taco dinner with his teenage son. How much alcohol have you had tonight? That's Fort Collins officer Jason Hafferman. Okay, well, I'm trying to determine whether you're under the influence of anything. How much had you uh, had to drink that night? I, had to, I, don't drink, I, don't, I don't drink and drive. I just simply don't drink and drive. So since I was driving, I didn't have anything to drink. But that's not the way Hafferman saw it. I can smell a faint odor of alcohol coming from uh, from your from your breath or your 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 person. All right. Well, you are under arrest for driving under the influence, as well as the other traffic violations. Hafferman charged Elias with careless driving, DUI, and child abuse since his minor son was in the car. Elias spent three days in jail. But take a look at this: the CBI's test of Elias's blood from that night. No alcohol detected. No drugs detected. I thought it was a grotesque and terrifying abuse of power. As soon as the district attorney saw this, they dismissed all charges against Elias. But this was not an isolated case. You are under arrest for driving under the influence. As we previously reported, Officer Hafferman arrested Derek Groves in April, suspecting him of driving under the influence of drugs. The blood screen there showed no drugs, no alcohol. I was arrested for something that I didn't do, and it traumatized me. I've woke up with nightmares from it. Prosecutors have now dismissed three of Hafferman's recent DUI cases when tests showed the drivers were completely sober. And a fourth case was dismissed when a judge said she thought Hafferman was exaggerating. It's not uncommon for an officer to make an arrest that eventually gets thrown out. The other way. Fort Collins police chief says his department is looking into Hafferman's DUI cases. Was there a misstep? Was there uh, reporting issues? Was, you know, what, what were the reasons why we did this test and it came back without those 14 um, elements that we test for, came back without any of those present? It's completely perverse. I mean, it's, it's insane. Elias's lawyer is Sarah Schilke. Do you think this officer actually smelled alcohol or do you think he's making that up? I do not. No, I think that he's making it up. Schilke says part of the problem is that departments get big grants for DUI arrests, and officers are incentivized with competitions, trophies, and awards to make more DUI arrests. There should never be an incentive to arrest somebody for a specific type of crime. It's spiraling out of control. I'll have you turn the face away from me and lock your fingers in the back of your head for me. That's how Harris Elias felt this night, that things were spiraling out of control. There is a pattern of abuse of citizens. Elias believes the only way now to make change is by filing a lawsuit. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. DA Gordon McLaughlin is also threatening to stop prosecuting Officer Hefferman's cases unless his conduct dramatically improves. The Fort Collins Police Department says it is reviewing the officer's cases.